Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Learn How to Edit Stuff. My name is Nadia Sands, and today we're going to learn how to make custom titles in After Effects just like this one. That's some fancy stuff. Hopefully by the end of today's lesson, you will be more familiar with making custom titles in After Effects and give your piece that you're working on a little bit of personal flair. I don't really have any updates for you guys, so let's just jump into the lesson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have After Effects open. We are going to go to composition, new composition, 1920 by 1080, and we're gonna make it five seconds long. Click, okay. So we can see what we're doing. We're gonna deactivate this little uh, transparency grid here. So we got a nice black background for us to create our titles on. Uh, step one is gonna be that line that opens up across the middle of the screen. So we're gonna go layer, new, solid. We're gonna make it white, click okay. Then we're gonna take our mask tool up here and we're just gonna draw a line. We're gonna go to a line and we're going to center it in the composition vertically and horizontally. So it's right in the middle of our frame. That is looking pretty good. So step one is gonna be to get this line to open up. So we're gonna to go to mask, mask path. We're gonna set a keyframe there and we're gonna go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight keyframes. Let's call it eight. Set another keyframe. So that's where it's gonna open up to. We're gonna go back to our first key point, zoom in here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these two endpoints and we're gonna pull them right to the center, just like that. So that one's right in the center. We'll go grab these other two right here and we're gonna meet it in the center. Brilliant. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these keyframes, I'm gonna make the first one easy ease out and the second one easy ease in. A good way to remember it is ease out of the gate and ease into the finish line. Somebody told me that once. I don't know if it's actually true, but I've lived my life that way this whole time. So hopefully it's right. Brilliant. Next, we're gonna create our text on the top and on the bottom of this line. So uh, in the example, I think I did create this. And again, we're going to align it horizontally with our comp and we'll put it a little bit off the line, just like that. And then we did nice title, just like that. And we will align this horizontally as well and bring it up just like this. Now, a good thing to do to make your title stand out is play with the weighting of the text a little bit. So if we click on this, right now I have Gotham Extra Light for the bottom. And so we'll make this top one, we'll go Gotham Medium. And we'll shrink it just a touch. All right, that's looking pretty good so far. Now it's time to animate the text coming up from the line. So we have the line that opens up. And then we're gonna go over from our last position keyframe, one, two, three, four, five keyframes. And we're going to set position keyframes for the text. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll make everything eight keyframes just to keep it nice and even. And we'll set position keyframes again. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna put this, create this title up on top because it is on top here, which visually makes sense. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna move it down to where nice title is. And then we're gonna take nice title and move it up to where create this was. So now if you see, we have the animation coming out. Nice will come from the bottom, create this will come from up top. And now what we gotta do is make some masks. So I would go layer, new, solid. Doesn't matter what color, cause it's gonna be transparent in the end. And let's just shrink the, uh, or let's lower the opacity down here so we can see what we're doing. And we're just gonna draw a box right through the middle of this line under create this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to double click on this and I'm gonna move the edge of my box up to the top of the line so that create this will come up from that. And I'm gonna put it above create this. I'm going to turn the opacity back up to 100% and then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna switch modes and I'm going to change the track mat of create this to look at this white solid layer as a mask. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm going to go to alpha inverted mat for white solid six. So if I click on that, you'll see that create this disappears. And then if I mute this title, you'll see that now create this is coming up from the line masked by that white solid that we made. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing for the nice title. So to save yourself some time, you can duplicate this white layer and just move it right on top of nice title. And then we will do the same thing here where we will move it just so the bottom of the line or bottom of that mask is touching the line right about there. Then we will change nice title to alpha matte inverted. And now look at what we've got. 
Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do now is grab all of our layers and we're going to pre-compose this and call it main title. So now we've got our main title comp there on one line looking nice and spiffy. Now it's time to make that little line that pops up vertically from here. So we are going to, again, layer new solid, white, and we will just draw a rectangle just like this. Zoom in a little bit and we'll have it open up right about there. Nice. So we're gonna wait for our title to come up like that. We're gonna wait just a few seconds so people have an opportunity to read the title and then we will start our mask animation here. So mask path, click on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mask path again, first keyframe. Right click, easy ease out of the gate. Right click, easy ease into the finish line. And we are going to option bracket so it starts from there, so we don't get any weird artifacts. And then same thing, we're gonna come in here, zoom in, grab our top two squares, bring it down to the middle of this white line. And our bottom two squares, we're going to bring it up to meet it in the middle there. Whoop. And we're gonna give it a five frame lag. One, two, three, four, five. And then we will set a position keyframe here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another position keyframe. By the end of this position, we want it to be all the way across our title because we're gonna wipe it out of frame. And then we'll do another one, two, three, four, five frame lag. And we'll grab this last keyframe, copy, paste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab this first keyframe, copy, paste. And we will change these so that they make sense. Easy ease out and easy ease in. Looking pretty good so far. So now we gotta make this text white. Now, the reason that we made it a pre-comp is that we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did with these first titles, but on this whole thing as a piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to where my keyframe animation starts. We're gonna go layer, new, solid, white. And I'm just gonna draw a box around this guy right here. And we're gonna drag this white solid down that we just made, and we're gonna put it on top of our pre-comp. And I'm gonna open this back up again so we can see our keyframe animation. And so my position of this white box that we just made is gonna start when this thing moves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna line it up with the side of this line that we made, just like that. And then we will go to where our keyframes end, which is about there. Drag this over. And then we will move this over to the edge of our line right there. Then we're going to change this to alpha inverted white solid, the one right above it. The, the solid has to be above the layer that you're masking or else it won't work. And then we will come and we will trim this layer just to right there. So it starts and then it ends right about there. We can trim this layer back as well. And then it closes. The last thing that we're gonna wanna do is select all of our layers Go back over to toggle switch modes down here. And we're gonna turn motion blur on for everything, including motion blur in the comp. And same thing with our pre-comp. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna make sure that motion blur is turned on for all of these and motion blur in the comp. So then that way, when we play it through, it gives the effect that it's moving faster than it actually is. Nice motion blur. You can especially see it if you scrub through right here. You see how the line is like all blurry? If you turn off motion blur, it just is a stale line. So this is actually giving it the effect that it's actually moving, which is exactly what we want. And then last but not least, we pre-comp everything one more time and we set a scale keyframe at the beginning and a scale keyframe right when the animation finishes, right there. And I'm gonna have it scale up to 107% so that the entire time it's moving, it's actually moving towards camera and giving us nice little movement there. And here's the final product. And if we toggle this black layer off in the back, it means that it is an alpha layer, so you can drop that over anything that you have inside of Premiere. Uh, real quick, we'll go over and export. So we'll go File, Export, Add to Render Queue. And we're gonna click on our output module, lossless right now, and we're gonna change this to RGB plus alpha, which is gonna give you that alpha background layer, very important. And we're gonna go to Format Options, and we're gonna change this from Animation to Apple ProRes 4444. We're gonna click OK. Everything else here looks good. Click OK, and we will send it to, if you followed my last tutorial, the folder hierarchy from post haste, we're gonna go to media and go to graphics and call this final title, 
click save and render. All right, guys, there you go. We just created a custom title in After Effects in less than 10 minutes. Use the knowledge that you just learned in today's video to create your own titles and personalize it to fit your project. Or if you really like what I did, you can just copy me verbatim. Thank you for tuning into this week's video. I hope it helped some of you out. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Naughty and Sands on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And as always, do not forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date on all the tutorials, all the product reviews, and everything that is learn how to edit stuff. All right, subscribe until you do. I'm going to listen to dubstep. Oh, God.